welcome back to another episode of Let's Go Flying. This episode is only going to be a short one today because truth be told, I actually made a little mistake. I don't want to give too much away, but uh, I've been waiting to pick my 600kg landing gear and also my wing tubes up from Flylight and also take the part down which I might have drilled wrong uh, to have a new bit put on so that I could re-drill it correctly. Don't want to give too much away there. Um, the next episode is going to be a slightly longer one because obviously that's the one that I make the mistake in. I want to highlight that mistake for other people. Uh, it didn't cost me a fortune really. It just set me back time-wise a little bit. Um, but it's all sorted now. I'm back on track. The build's back on track. So enjoy the next 10 minutes or so. And please do like and subscribe if you don't already. And the new episode is in the works and will be out very soon. Take care. Right, picking up where we left off from yesterday. Well, I do tell a slight fib there. Um, I have just fitted the uh, pulley system here and the flat lever, which was a pig to fit. There we go. No, it wasn't that bad to be fair. It was, it was okay. It was just about getting these spaces right in here, getting everything bob on so it all fits perfectly, which it now does, I think. I don't think I can get anything else in there. <laughs> it should all tighten up anyway. Yeah, that should be bob on that, to be fair. So, that's that. Now then. The job of the day today is to give the plane some wheels. So let's see how that goes, shall we? The wheels, apparently, are in this box here. So it's time to see what's inside box number four. Not been in there yet. Should always be careful opening stuff with a knife like that. Just in case you nick anything. Oi, Nick. Well, what's we got here? They look like wheel hobs. Which they are. Let's lay everything out. You do have to be quite accurate when you're slicing stuff open. You don't want to leave giant scratches down it. So we've got that. Looks like a hub. That's the other side, I would say. Um, if something does get damaged or lost or whatever, um, most stuff I think Paul can send out, providing it's uh, nothing too heavy. So here we go. Tires, we've got one, oh, it's, it's like brake disc, one brake disc, two tires. They smell so new. They do, don't they? Mm. Oh, look. Three tires, oh yeah, of course, it's a plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was expecting less than three. Um, what's this? looks like so that's that's what I call thoughtful that they even send you something so that you can bleed the brakes with now I'd actually bought exactly one of these very similar um, to do the job but uh, I didn't think for a moment they'd actually send you the kit to do it with that's pretty cool and just another little nice little fly light touch there in a tube I'm hoping there's a big parcel of bolts in there somewhere. Can't get in it. wheel bearing inside oh yeah that's lovely brake hose or something Just be very gentle with this stuff as you open it I think that's brake fluid certainly don't want that in my lap <laughs> no it's nasty stuff really nasty brake fluid Ugh. Oh, 
Oh, this looks like the master cylinder. Oh, this is exciting. The master cylinder. This looks like brake discs. No, sorry, brake um, calipers. Oh, these are a decent size. They're a bit bigger than uh, on the C42. Very careful not to nick that. Get that away. And let's try and remember where Stanley is, shall we? Okay, so we've got three in here. Ow! 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 Ooh. Ow! That's okay. Not a problem. It's just going to bleed a bit. No, no, no. That's how they go out. That look. So where's the other one? What? Where's the one? I'd imagine there's three oh, yeah. in there as well. I'm pulling back down now. I don't think it is. I think that's uh, plain, that. Oh. Unless you've seen the red gyro out. No. You have, haven't you, little feather? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's spooling up there. Okay. The first job here was to assemble the wheels, um, which I'm just uh, finishing the second one now. Um, they are split rims on the Sky Ranger. So the brake disc over here, uh, the hob in the middle, um, well, two halves of the hob there. Um, and uh, and then you pump it up, basically. Make sure nothing's trapped. Um, otherwise, that's a problem and it will explode. <laughs> so um, we get these pumped up. And then I th I've got a feeling that it might be fitting the legs after that. There we go. So we've just got to let that come up to uh, 26 PSI now. Um, and then whilst he's doing that, we'll start building the other hub, uh, other wheel, sorry. Well, I managed to not bring a spare SD card with me today. Uh, but I'm going to give you an update now where we're up to. Um, so, we've got wheels for starters. Yeah, that's the main thing. I completely missed that. Uh, and we've also got temporary 450 kg legs as well. Um, the plane's kind of just hovering on two of the uh, uh, two of the trestles at the moment. Um, so I fitted those, the wheels, and we've got uh, front wheel, nose wheel. We've got the suspension, is it? I guess set up there. Um, well, shock absorbers, whatever they are, and uh, nose wheel steering bar here, which I'm just setting up now, which links to the um, uh, rudder pedals or steering pedals, or where you want to say it. And uh, that's that. So. It's very exciting. I, um, I'm pretty tired, I've been here all day, but I'm enjoying it and I don't feel like I'm rushing it. Um, by far the trickiest thing today was the um, flap lever, uh, which was a pain, just trying to get everything in the right order. Uh, followed by the legs. Again, if you fit them how it says in the manual, you won't have a problem. You've got to get this uh, loop on first here and then this clamp here and obviously it fits like this so that's it i'm running out of time i've got nine seconds left so from me here at ashcroft thanks for watching and i'll see you next time